Hi, this is Erin from the Science Off Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center. And today we're going to do a project that was featured on the show at the Center that talks about Science Center activities. And we are going to use these supplies here to make an electric motor. To start with, you'll need some sort of base. We're using foam core and then to make it a little bit thicker, adding some cork board to the top. You could also use cardboard or anything like that. Then you'll need to make the holders for the wire. We used aluminum from a disposable cake pan or cookie sheet. You cut them so they're about an inch by two inches, fold them at the bottom, and then poke a hole towards the top on each one of them. Then you'll mount them in place using thumbtacks. Eventually, you'll need to loosen up one of the thumbtacks to get the wire in, but it can you can start by just putting them in place to get a sense of distance. You also need one of these nice big magnets that you can get from places like Radio Shack and you space the holders so that they're right on either end of the magnet. Again, poke those in. Next you'll need to make the loop of wire. If you've watched our videos before you know that electricity moving through loops of wire can make an electromagnet and that's what we're making here. For this, you'll be using a spool of wire, something that you can get also at Radio Shack. It's called magnet wire. Ours is 30 gauge. And you'll have to strip the ends of it by using sandpaper. It's too skinny to use regular wire strippers. So you just pinch it and strip away like this. After you've done that, you wrap it around a D battery or a film canister to make the loop, leaving a couple inches at either end. When you're all done with that and you've wrapped the extra loops around, it will look something like this. And you can stick it through the holes in the aluminum. Next you need to hook up the electricity. For that you can use any old wire that's coated and strip off the ends of it. For this you can use regular wire clippers uh, or um, wire strippers to loosen that up bend over the edge of the copper and then you'll hook it through hook it around a thumbtack like that and push it down again do the same thing on the other side and it's in place lastly you'll need a battery a D battery works you can also use a double A battery or anything you have around and you're going to try to hook it up. Now this can get hot but we'll try our best. And that one worked on the first time. You can see it spinning there. Now sometimes if your motor doesn't work right away you might have to adjust the balancing of it. You want to get it so that the wire can spin for quite a while even without the electricity going. Or if it's not starting Sometimes you have to give it a kick start to get it going. So for these motors you have chemical energy in the battery that's being converted to electrical energy that's then being converted to kinetic energy making the motor spin and that's what makes the modern world go around. So for more details of how to make this go to scienceoffcenter.org.